All right, you guys, we are back for Vlogmas number six. So let's go right ahead and get into this video. Because if you read the title, you know what it's for. So today, I am going to be doing a video about sites that you can buy vinyl on that are not so popular. Usually when you collect vinyl records, first thing people may tell you is Discog. Some people would tell you Walmart. Um, Target, Best Buy, you know, stuff like that. But there are some sites that are not so popular that a lot of people use, including myself. I just felt like it made sense just to come on and tell you guys what site I use. With this site, the first one, how I found it, I went on Twitter search. You can find anything in Twitter search. Let me tell you something. You can find anything. <laughs> so I went into Twitter search and I was just typing in like, you know, vinyl sites or whatever. And I found these, uh, well, this one, the one that I'm about to mention right now. I found this one on Twitter in a Twitter search and it was just some random people having a conversation talking about it. And the name of the site is Urban Legends. Now, when you go to um, Google, type in Urban Legends, it's not going to be like the first, second, third thing. Um, it's going to be some other stuff. You do type it in Google, make sure that you put vinyl after you put Urban Legends. Um, you could put Urban Legends together or separate, doesn't matter. As long as you put vinyl at the end, it'll pop up. So with this site, it's kind of like an anniversary site. So like how I just did with the Mary J. Blige, My Life Vinyl, you will get stuff like that. Far as anniversary album, old school albums, it mostly has hip hop, but it does have like options of pop and um, R&B and stuff like that, but mostly they have hip-hop. So if you like a huge hip-hop head This is a great site on there. You actually on there. They have like exclusives as far as color disc I think they even have picture discs as well And they have the normal typical black disc that you would get when you buy a record, you know Just the and I love this site. I got my Khalees vinyl from them I've gotten my I got my Khalees vinyl from them and I got a few more more. I can't think of it right now, but I got a few more from them that I brought that was pretty cool. I just brought, not well, like a few months ago, I brought the Mariah Carey uh, EMC2. So they have that as well, like how Mariah repressed and redid all her vinyl records. They have them over there. Mary J. Blige, just everything. So you guys go and check them out. They kind of, people don't really recommend them as a lot. I'll talk about them. They are a little bit pricey, but I mean, Site number two. This site, I found it on Instagram because it was like a little promo thing. You know how when you type something in Google, all of a sudden you go on Instagram or Twitter or whatever, and all of a sudden these ads just start popping up everywhere. I saw this website on Instagram, and I checked them out to see what it was. I saw a lot of comments that were very positive, so I was like, okay, they, mean, they seem a little legit, you know? So the name of this site is Tumbleweeds, CT. This site has a lot of old school and they have some new vinyl, new school too. If you like old school music a lot, old, old school music, you will love this place because they have new and used. So I brought vinyl records from them for like $3, like $5. The Gladys Knight vinyl that I brought, the Gerald Levert um, vinyl I brought, it was three, maybe $5, I think. It was very affordable. And they ship fast. And if you check on them like every day or, or frequently, you'll be surprised at what you will come across. Those vinyls are very cheap. So y'all go check them out. So you have the Sound of Vinyl, which is the third site. Well, I got a few vinyl records from them. You actually have the option to purchase vinyl records on their US site or their UK site. So whatever you don't see on the US site, you probably will find it on the UK site. Because... <laughs> Let me tell you something. When what happened was I was home, I was looking at the website and I was just looking through stuff and I wasn't really seeing much, you know, records that I was really caring about in that particular moment. And when I got to work, I looked on the website and Googled it and it popped up the UK site. So it was very, it was just like all type of stuff, color, picture, everything. And I was like, whoa. So I actually got my Janet Jackson vinyl, which is the picture disc from them. A crazy story, but I am going to do a video about that particular vinyl and the and other vinyls from them. That site is very good. A bit pricey. It's kind of like the common prices that you would find on other websites. But, you know, different sites have different 
things. And if you Google some promo codes and you get lucky with one of them, you won. <laughs> so yeah, you can shop through, it's just like ASOS, the clothing site, where you can shop from the US and the UK store that they have in Whatever you don't find in one, you will find it in the other. So next one we have is Ear Candy Music. Now that's what I only got one vinyl record from them. Let me just make sure I say that. <laughs> the one record that I got from them was the Megan The Stallion Fever mixtape. That's where I got that from. I was looking for that vinyl so much and I found it because <laughs> I saw somebody had it on my timeline. So I'm not the type of person that asks people. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm doing these videos for you guys because I know, you know, it may be some people like me. Like, I don't really like to ask people. I don't have a problem with y'all asking me anything, so don't feel that way. But it's me. I don't know if it's like the Virgo in me or what, but I don't really like to ask people for stuff. I kind of like to figure it out on my own. And then I like to share the info that I find. Like, it's weird. <laughs> I could make it so much easier on myself, but... I choose not to. I found it on Air Candy Music. They had some at the time. I, I saw that they restocked like a few months ago, but let me check it out to see if they still have it. But that's a very good site too. And they have mostly old school stuff. And then they, you may find like a few new stuff or a few little mixtapes or whatever over there. So y'all go and check them out. Check them out. So FYE is the next one. Um, FYE is where I got my scissor control vinyl from. I got a few other ones from them too. Mystical, like a lot of different vinyl records from them. This site is really good. I do recommend this website for beginners. Also going to do a beginners thing where, you know, I'm letting you guys know what's the best sites to buy from if you're a beginner. FYE has different stuff. Picture this, color this. You go to their exclusives. And they have different genres, they have different things. So you would be surprised with what you find over there. It's pretty good and it's affordable. And then they flood their site. Like every time you go on there, they ask you to put a different email or something where you can get a promo code and you probably could get 15% off. And you know, if you purchase from them a few times, you probably could get free shipping. So they're also good. So the next one is Pop Market. I brought from Pop Market Discogs. Most of the vinyls that I got from them were used, but I know they have new vinyls as well. But they have a website that you can also go to and purchase on. Instead of Discogs, you can do it on their website. Going to be honest with you guys, I ordered the vinyl from them. Um, I'm waiting for it to come through. As far as me buying it on their site, not from Discogs. Different. <laughs> I'm still waiting on that one. I ordered it the other day um, and I'm waiting on it. You will find new stuff. I saw Tony Braxton's new album on there, so you'll probably find that. It was on pre-order, so check them out as well. The next one is Odies.com. Odies.com is, and I'm gonna put the name of the site, but y'all will see it as it goes. But Odies.com is like old school stuff as well. And I think I saw some new stuff on there, but it was mostly like old stuff. I brought like a, a total vinyl from them, the R&B group total. I brought a vinyl from that site of theirs. It was the Can't You See remix. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting on that vinyl to come through. Y'all already know I'm gonna do an unboxing video when it get here. Every vinyl I have, I've done an unboxing video for it. <laughs> Entire collection. That is everything on the list. I hope you guys like this video. I hope it was very helpful for you guys. I hope you guys use this and utilize off of this. And you know, it could be very helpful for you guys. Cause if you're a vinyl collector, especially in the beginning, it is very hard trying to find websites because what you don't see on Walmart, Target or any other site, you may find on these and you're like, wait a minute, hold on. So. And Discogs is good. Make sure you guys check out Discogs. But the only reason why I don't always say Discogs because Discogs can be very pricey. Sometimes they have vinyl records on it. It's like $400, five. It's just ridiculous. So I don't really say it a lot of times. Far as like if someone is looking for recent music on, on there, I'd be like, yeah, no. Or particular type of artist I'm just like yeah it's gonna be expensive on there so mm -mm. 
I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And follow my social media down below in the description box. And click the bell to be notified when I upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope y'all enjoying this vlogmas. I hope y'all are. I'm just saying. Okay. See y'all in the next video.